Hours of Zoom sessions can be quite taxing for many students and parents, but the online alternative isn't an option for many housed at global dorms. Catholic Social Services Executive Director Diana Calvo says social workers are trying to coordinate access to iPads and laptops, which would enable students to have access to online learning. The lack of um, contact and also the consistency of follow-up, even with hard paper copies, is not really helping the children learn. In addition to the lack of tech services, inconsistent internet access presents further challenges. We're hoping that if we are able to at least bring the laptops in, the families as they transition will be able to take that with them and they'll be able to have access uh, wherever they're transitioning to for that part. CSS is also facing a high demand for resources for their infant population. Cavill says there are about three to four infants currently being housed at global dorms. And although they've been able to provide diapers and other products through their pantry, it's becoming more and more difficult. Even on our pantry, we're really... Uh distributing those kinds of products really fast. So also during the OHAP meeting, Lieutenant Governor Josh Chinorio announced that Sarah Thomas Nedadog had been selected as the executive director of the Office of Homelessness and Poverty Prevention. Nedadog has an extensive background in the field of human services with over 40 years of experience. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matsunani.